In order to upload any filmed footage of a swim that you've recorded using your handsets, you'll first need to log into your Swim Better platform, specifically into the account that you use to upload the data with from your phone. Once you sign into the, sign into the platform, it'll look like this, where you've got your list of swims. You may have multiple dashboards already, so first thing you may need to do is navigate to your All Swims dashboard. The film swim I, did, I just did was the latest one, so I know it's at the top. So I'm just going to click that here. And then I'm looking at that swim. The next thing I need to do is click sync with video. This will now collate all the laps together into one single view. And then as long as I've got the footage on my computer, I'm just going to click upload file. I've got it saved in my documents. Film swims, March 2nd. So I'll just open that. And then it's going to start uploading. It goes through two stages. First, it, go, it uploads, and then it begins processing. Um, processing is pretty quick. Uploading can take long, depending on what kind of footage you're recording in. Um, you're able to film in whatever quality, whatever frame rate, as part of this processing step is to process the footage into a universal 720p HD. Um, but just be aware that you can film whatever, uh, whatever swimming you want in whatever camera quality. So if you wanted 4K, absolutely fine. Once the video finishes processing, it'll look like this. I want to just enlarge the size there. What we need to do now is identify the filmed point where you can see the LEDs flashing. This effectively gives us our time zero, so where you started the recording. So I'm just going to minimize that. I'm just going to play this for a little bit. Oh, there you go. Sorry, I'll redo that. So you'll see that the LEDs start flashing there. So I'll just keep going. What we need to do is we need to find the very first frame. So let's play this again. I'm going to try and pause it as quick as I can. Pause. Yep. So it's already started. And then we're specifically looking for the first frame where the LED goes off, which is there. I'm going to set sync and then save. And that's it, it's synced. So that's synced perfectly. Now we have a second button here called Nudge. What Nudge allows you to do is to properly fine tune your sync, your synced uh, footage to any point in the data. So if I just let this play, and I'll zoom in to this point here. This point in the data right here is representative of when the data, when the hands first enter the water before the start of the swim. So if I wanted to look at the exact same exact point, that's right here on the chart, on the video. But if I rewind a little bit, I can see that the hands actually enter the water at about this frame. So if we go really, really zoomed in, you can see there's this much difference. What Nudge allows us to do is to compensate for any possible um, different difference in sync by freezing the data at a select point. So if I now, now that I've chosen, and I'll just zoom this out a little bit so you see. Now that I've chosen that exact point, I can freeze the data by clicking Nudge. And then once I click Nudge, the data is frozen, so any any movement around the video doesn't change this bar. It's it's frozen right here. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna rewind and go to the very first frame where I see both handsets underwater, which is right here. So if I do click save, I've now reset the sync. Where if I click right here again, it's that first frame, and we can double check this by rewinding. There it goes. Perfect. The nudge is just if you want to fine tune any sync, as well as if you're, say, later on in the swim, and you want to verify a certain side, it's perfect with the nudge. But that's it. That's how you um, sync your video to your swim. You have full control as well over the chart here. Um, I can just minimize this. You want to zoom in on any specific areas, you can. You just click and drag, and then your interacting with the chart will take your video to that exact same point. Um, a few extra buttons, which I'll just make everyone aware of. 
Now, this is depending on what browser you're using, but if you right click the video, go to show all controls, an extra bar will pop up. This, you can download the video, you can cast it to a TV if you have it. You can change the playback speed, which I understand is pretty popular. So if I just change that now to 0.25 speed, which is none, if I start playing the video, <laughs> don't know if you can hear that, but if you start playing the video, it's now operating at one quarter speed. The best control, in my opinion, is picture-in-picture -picture mode, which allows you to take the window out and put it onto a second display. And as long as you're still interacting with the chart, that second window works perfect. And that's done. That is how you sync your video to your Swim Better data.